Let's talk about questions from data interpretation. Now, this is one of the most scoring sections. A lot of students are afraid about it, but we will be talking about some of the quick tricks to help you solve the problems. Again, as I always repeat, you would have five questions from data interpretation, uh, two of which would be a little complicated, it could be, but uh, the remaining three are very simple. So don't be just afraid of data interpretation and don't just avoid data interpretation. Those three questions could might be uh, simply be solved by looking at the statistics itself. So we have one of the questions from the past papers. Now this talks about a passage that focuses on total exports of six countries over five years. So you have countries A, B, C, D, E and F and you have the export values that are given here. Uh, now export in each of the year from 2008 to 2012 has been given. Now based on this now we, we should also know that there is a line that is given which is assume profit is equal to export minus import so if there is any question asking for profit we would have to simply do export minus import as simple as that now here the question says if the export of the country a in year 2013 so a in 2013 which is uh, some of the values that would be there is 20 percent more than the total export of b in 11 so b in 11 is 50 and then export of e in 2010 so E in 2010 is 55. Okay, so we take these two values. Then what would be the profit of A in the year 2013 if the import was 92 crores? Now we do not know the values for 2013. So first we will find the addition of these two values which is 50 plus 55 which makes it 105. Now it is 20% more than that. So I would just find 20% of it. So 20% of this would be 21. Now this is 21 as it is 20% more than the combined export of these two. So I, I would add 105 plus 21 that makes it 120. 6. Now this is the total export. What I am asked for is the profit. Now as we said profit is equal to export minus import which is assumed here. So export is 126, import is already given as 92. So I solve this value I would have 4 and then 3. So 34 would be my right option here. So this was a very very simple question where no complicated mathematics was involved and a direct question based on understanding the text that was there. So we repeat the export. So I can just write it export of A is equal to 20% more of export of B plus export of C in the year 2010 and in the year 2013. Uh, sorry in the 2011 okay so that is what you have to solve here and this was one of the very very simple questions now again based on the same table we have another question what was the profit for all the countries together in the year 2012 so to 2012 if i was i'm asked for the profit okay so first of all i'll add up all the exports so i would add 90 plus 100 plus 65 plus 25 plus 110 plus 120 now how you can solve this is 90 plus 110 so that would give you 200 then you would have 60 plus 20 which is 80 and 120 which is again 200 i have remaining 10 here and 100 here so 110 here so i would have 510 as the total exports and then i would have the uh, imports which is already given which is 385 so export minus import which is 385 I solve this and I would have 125 as the right option for the profit here now this was a question that was asked in the uh, in the December 2019 exam so again based on this table we have certain choices which is a b c and d that is given now the question says by what percentage is the average export of country A over all the given years more than the average export of the country C over all the given years. Now when I say country E over all the given years that means I take all these values okay and I find the average of it. So 60 plus 50 plus 55 plus 100 plus 110 and I divide it by 5. So that is the average value for E. 
so average of e is given here okay then uh, i am asked by what percentage is the average export of e over all the given years more than the average export of c so i find out the average export of c so for average of export of c i take these values which is 50 plus 55 plus 70 plus 90 plus 65 and then divided it by 5. Now this is the average value for C. Okay. Now this is the average value for E. So what I do is the I find out the values here. I do E minus C divided by C into 100 and that would give me the percentage. How much percentage is more? for e by c okay so that is basically the growth i have seen from uh, for e versus c so i what what i do is i find out the average values of e which is all the values divided by 5 since there are 5 values and then same for the c all the values divided by 5 which is the average value for the c then I, what i do is that average value for e minus c divided by c into 100 would be my percentage change that would be c okay so that is how we understand this question the next question is further interesting based on the same table so if the ratio of export to import in f and d are in the ratio 4 is to 1 and 1 is to 2 for 2008 then what would be the total import of f and d together in a particular year so how do we calculate it let's first talk about the first one so for the country f uh, i'm saying the ratio is 4 is to 1 so for f the ratio is 4 is to 1 and that is the ratio for export is to import now for country f I am taking uh, the value of exports for 2008 which is 24 okay so that means if this value is 24 how much would be the import import would be 6 because it is in the ratio 4 is to 1 so if it is 24 it would be 6 I reduce 24 and 6 so I get 4 is to 1 again so that is the value for F now for the same uh, ratio of export to import for country D for country D, my export to import ratio is how much? 1 is to 2. Now, for D, I have the value as how much? 45. So, if the, my export is 45, what would be my import? Since it is in the ratio 1 is to 2, this would be 90. So, I have the import values for F and I have the import values for D. Now, the question says, what is the total import of F and D taken together in that area, in that year, sorry. So, that is 90 plus 6. I have found out and I have calculated the value of import for F, which was 6, since it's in the ratio 4 is to 1. And for D, where the export is to import ratio is 1 is to 2. Since the export was 45, import comes out to be 40, import comes out to be double of it, which is 90. Now, I have to find out the total imports for D and F, which is 90 plus 6, which is as simple as is that 96 so this was a, a kind of very very direct and simple question based on it the last question based on the same table is what is the percentage increase in the export of all countries together from 2009 to 2011 so exports in 2009 for all countries i add up all these values okay and export for 2011 i add up all these values now since i am asked asked for percentage increase so let's say my values when i add up for 2011 i won't be adding up here you can simply do that that's simple and i already told you the trick how to go around it now uh, what you need to do is you would add up all the values for 2011 let's say it comes out to be x and the values for 2009 comes out to be y so what you would be doing is x minus y divided by uh, uh, why okay that is the 2019 or i can simply write it as 2011 values minus 2019 values so value of 2011 minus value of 2019 divided by value of 2009 so 2011 minus 2009 values divided by values of 2009 into 100 and that would be the percentage import for the exports so again a direct question that was there so this was one of the kind of questions that were there. Let's come up to a little different kind of question that could be asked. So here we have another interesting uh, table. Here we have the percentage of students which are enrolled in various faculties in a university. I know the total number of university students which are 12,000 of which 52% are males and the remaining are female students and the categories or the departments or the faculties under which you have 
the proportion of numbers or the proportion of students that are present okay so one of the direct questions could be highest proportion of students in the faculty of education lowest number of students in the faculty of engineering so that's a kind of very simple question that won't be asked but let's move on to a little difficult question so here the question says approximately how many female students are there in the faculty of performing arts if the proportion of male and female is same okay uh, so i am saying the uh, the proportion of male and female students is same for uh, the this faculty as for the whole university so whole university is 52% male so there is 48% female that is implied total we need to make 100% for this faculty of performing arts again the ratio would be same so my question is how many female students are there in the faculty of performing arts so first of all let's calculate how many students are there in the faculty of performing arts so total 12000 students in the university 26% of 12000 and that is the number of students in performing arts now i have to find out only the number of female students and how many percent female students are there there is 48% so again i find out 48% of this so this value would be my answer for this question as simple as that and now note uh, sometimes there could be question which could be asked in the exam where the values come in decimal but here since they are people they cannot be in fractions so make a round off of the nearest closest number okay so based on the same passage again we have another question now this question is again interesting supposing the number available in the faculty of engineering doubles keeping the total number of the university in the same so for that engineering 8% I'm trying to double it so I'm making it 16% but for that I'm reducing the number of students from performing arts and education equally so this 8% where it is coming from it is coming from the faculty of arts uh, faculty of education and performing arts so here and here so what what percentage I increased was 8% so this 8% equally divided into 2. So 4 and 4 each. So I would subtract 4 from here and 4 from here. So this becomes 22 and this becomes 26. Now, what is the number of students available in the faculty of education? So in the faculty of education, it is 26% of 12,000. Now, huh, an interesting thing is you need not to calculate it again because in the previous question, we had already done this. So if you have the values from the previous question where you have already calculated 26% of 12,000, you need not to calculate it again for this question. So it's just a change of the question. The values, ultimately the answers would remain same. So you would have to save time to be very, very alert for your examination. Uh, the next question is the number of male students exceeding female students is. Now, how much students are exceeding? So 52% males and 48% females. So 4% is exceeding. Now 4% of the total university, that is 4 into 12,000. So 4% of 12,000. 4% of 12,000 basically. So 4 into 12,000 divided by 100 and that would be the number of uh, more male candidates that are there as compared to the female candidates. So this is the difference of 4%. Okay. The next question based on the same passage is here. So here we have if half of the students from the faculty of education and all of the students from the faculty of social sciences are female. So half from the education so education is 30 percent so 15 percent of that and all the students from the faculty of social sciences which is 19 percent so i add 15 plus 19 so that is 34 so this 34 percent is the female students uh, then the number of the female students in the remaining three faculty altogether would be now i know total number of female students is 48 percent okay these two faculty make 34%. So how much would be the proportion for the remaining faculty? 48 minus 34. So that would turn out to be 14%. Now this 14% of how much? We already know the total number of students in the university is 12,000. So 14% of 12,000. So I solve it for 14% of 12,000 and I have the answer here.
Now again, uh, by a little approximation, what you could do is, if you have calculate the tw calculated 26% of 12,000, you already know the value, this value would be a little lesser value than that. So if from the choices, if there is any value which is for 26% and above, you can simply remove those choices. And that is one of the ways to save the time for your DI questions. Uh, then you have one of the last questions based on this table, again the same table. This says the difference in the number of students enrolled in the faculty of science as compared to the students in the engineering is so simply science has 17 percent engineering has 8 percent so 17 minus 8 percent which is 9 percent now 9 percent of what again 9 percent of 12,000 again putting the same concept I have already calculated the values for what I have calculated the values for 14 percent of 12,000 in the last question so again this value would be less than 14 percent so if there is any choice which is beyond that I can simply ignore that choice i won't be going into detailed solution for those but a quick idea is uh, when you are solving so here 0, 0, 0, 0 cancel so what you have to do is 9 into 120 but a good way of solving is you already know what is 10 into 120 so that is 1 2 double 0 i can simply subtract 120 from it so it would be 1080 rather than directly multiplying it that is another way of solving this question or solving the uh, solving for the final answer so these were the kind of questions that are asked in your data interpretation section we would be covering many more interesting topics for you stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead